Hey everyone, today I'm back with a video, one that I've really been neglecting to do for a really long time, but that is a LEGO City update, and I'm really excited because here I am today with a new update of my LEGO City. So you might be wondering, what has been done since the last update a few months ago? And the answer is, honestly, nothing. Um, I've really neglected the city overall. Ever since I moved it in this corner, I never really finished it, and I've been so focused on the other sides, um, the other different parts of my LEGO room. Um, I resorted the whole collection, as you guys saw. I've been making tons of new videos, and I've been really focusing on that, and I definitely have been letting the city slide a bit. But today, I'm excited because I actually want to spend a lot of time working on the city. So honestly, the only thing that has been done different since the last update is now this black building, the black skyscraper, is now fully installed onto the, the pet shop and the bank uh, modular building. It's officially in there now, the last update you so would have seen. I said I was doing it, but I never actually did it. Well, it is, it is now actually done, and I do like... The way it looks, um, I think it does look great, but especially from a couple of these angles, but it definitely does need another skyscraper right around the Palace Cinema area, um, but of course it is a work in progress. But the main thing that I really need to focus on in this video is the fairground over here, which is above my Lego parts storage, um, where I have the Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round, an empty spot, and then a ton of other sets that have been sitting on my floor for like two months now. I honestly just keep moving them around and things like that, but it is time to get them actually into the city. So I think I'm gonna focus on this area first. This area also needs a lot of work. This is gonna be like the park and the beach area um, that it's gonna integrate in here with the amusement park. But I just, I really have to get these on display better um, because I keep bumping into them as I walk by. Plus, I feel once I get this part started, it'll just be easier to get this part here, this open space, because I don't think it will take too long, because the majority of this part of the city is done, minus all of the fine detailing, of course. So, my first stop is going to be working on this amusement park area, because it really does need to get started. So, this is actually the cleanest this table has looked in months. Um... I like how I like it looking empty. Honestly, this would be a great table to have just to be able to put parts bins on when I'm making mocks and things like that. But you know, space in a Lego room is unrealistic, so it's going to be filled up here. As you can see, I've got the 48 by 48 base plates there. There's a total of three of them across, and I've got some of the fairground sets right here. So now, what I'm just going to really do is go through the order and kind of see see how I like it. Um, it'd be ideal if I could have the Ferris wheel at the very end here, and then the merry-go-round, and then everything else. But I think that's going to be unrealistic. I think the Ferris wheel is going to have to go smack in the center. But honestly, we really have to wait and see. So this here is a rough plan of what I have for the amusement park. As you can see, I've got the big Ferris wheel right here, part of the Lego Pirates roller coaster, which I'm actually dismantling just because I don't really have enough room for it, uh, but I want to keep it built. The carousel is right here, and then of course I've got one of my mocks, which is like a one of those drop tower things. And then I've also put a couple restaurants and a toy shop right here because, you know, once you're at the ferry, you've always got to buy stuff and spend money. And it's just been a lot of trial and error trying to figure out what things I would like to have. As you can see, I've left a couple games out. These were from the you know the fairground set which is also what this part is from and it was actually this set here i have two copies of it this doesn't really fit in very nicely and then these don't fit in at all so i actually don't know if i'm going to keep the set built at all i might just dismantle it and again put it into storage for if i ever get a bigger amusement park but this is the process i'm at right now i'm going to fiddle with it a little more get some more final placements and then i'm going to start tiling it because once i start tiling it it's i don't want to rip those tiles up again so I want to make sure it's perfect the first time. While work on the amusement park section of the city is well underway, before I get tiling or anything like that, I realized I probably need to determine what the entranceway is going to look like um, at the amusement park. But of course, to do that, I have to finish this area of the city where it is the blank spot in between the two, where it's going to be like a park and maybe a water area. Um, so I'm going to work on that right now before I want to move on to the amusement park, just because, as I said, I really don't want to have to retile it more than once, so I want to make sure that the um, the gap that's bridging the two 
different areas of the city and is like working in the best interest and making it look as good as it can as possible. So here I am, I've been working on the outline of the city here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to have the old fisherman's store back here. I'll surround it with tan plates to make it look more like a beach area. I'll have this very small little area of water um, to kind of give the illusion that it goes way back. And this is just the end part with sand all the way around. And then I will continue the park design with all of these green base plates kind of doing an L shape and then I'll add tons of flowers and trees and the old museum and it'll look really cool. And then this is what it's looked like over here. I'm just kind of stripping down the city, the old parts of the city that I just took out a couple months ago and haven't really done anything with and just getting all the pieces there so I can at least get all the base plates back in order and start doing some rearranging. And while I was doing this, I saw my NCIS building down here again, and that's I really like that building. And now I'm looking at ways that it can kind of fit into the city. Part of me saying I should move the federal building over, slide it over one just a little, um, and then put the NCIS building right there, which might actually be a play. I, I'd like to include the NCIS building in the city, but then it's like, okay, now where do I include the hospital? And then I thought about taking away the hospital and putting it um, right here where the police station is. Or I might just not even have a hospital because it's not it's not the best looking hospital. Um, I haven't decided yet, but hopefully I'll do that very soon. So this is where we're at right now. I have just finished spending the last little bit building this dock, which I'm actually really proud of. I really like how that looks. Um, it's the dock to get to the amusement park over here, and I think that is exactly the bridge that I wanted to be between the city and the amusement park. So what I'm going to do is make a nice pathway leading up to it from the entrance there. I've also started putting a bunch of the tan plates around to set up the beach scene. So overall, really like how that's look. Right now I'm just trying to decide. So I'm definitely going to have a wall um, at the amusement park because I don't want obviously kids to fall out. But I'm trying to decide if I need a wall on the base as well. So there's definitely going to be a wall from the gray base plate up. But I want to see kind of wait and see how it looks and see if I need to put a wall there as well. I was doing some of the fencing to the park and as you can see this is the design I went with. It's pretty basic but I really like the look. I was originally going to go with this design with the black cones but instead I decided that I liked the white uh, studs better. I just think it looks much better but then that made me start thinking about how I really don't like the black and white railing along the side it just makes my city look a lot darker than I think it needs to so now I'm actually going through and redoing this entire railing to make it match this railing here so as you can see I've got lots of white bricks out and I've got my black plates and I'm just working to make it more consistent but I think it will look much nicer Okay, so I've now finished putting the new railing on. I'll zoom in here so you can get a bit of a closer look, but honestly, I really like that, and I think it looks so much better um, going around my LEGO City table than it used to with the black railing with the black spindles. I just think this one looks much clearer, and I'm just overall really happy with how it looks. And then, of course, it is the same in the park as well. The park area it looks identical i've got the nice new dock there and then also new is this new wall as i mentioned i wasn't sure if i was going to put a wall or not well it, it does look so much better with a wall so i'm going to do that and i'm going to make sure the railing on top matches this railing here so it's all nice and consistent and i probably won't do a big wall all the way across because it's an amusement park it wants it wants to look inviting and things like that but the city's a little bit of a mess now, so I'm going to do some sorting so I don't have to do it all uh, at the end again. And Because, you know, you would have seen how long it took me to do all the sorting. I don't want to let it all build up. But I'm really happy with how it looks, and that's actually going to bring me to the end of this LEGO City update. Um, I did manage to get through a lot. Like, I actually managed to put things in the city and get started on the amusement park and completely redo the wall. So I'm really happy with that. In the next update, I definitely want to work on finishing the park a little bit more, as well as finishing the amusement park, because they are both long overdue. If, 
But anyway, thanks so much for watching my LEGO City update. Really hope you enjoyed. If you have any suggestions or comments for the city, please leave them down in the comments below because I always want to read them because everybody has new ideas that I definitely wouldn't. So I want to hear your thoughts as well. So thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe. And I will see you in the next video as well as the next LEGO City update.